Hello everyone and welcome to the Nerdy Things with Brendan channel. I'm Brendan and today I have the AliExpress bootleg Sentinel Into the Spider-Verse Peter B. Parker figure to review for you. Well, if you happen to see this video where I talk about the bootleg AliExpress Sentinel series Spider-Verse Peter B. Parker, I ordered it. And two weeks later, it came. Out of the packaging, here it is, heavily bubble wrapped, so everything should be nice and, you know, complete, not broken. Then out of the bubble wrap, here is everything you get, and in case anyone's wondering, here's the instructions that tells you what it comes with, how to change parts, how to put stuff together, yada yada, all that stuff. Here is the stand, all assembled. Here's all the webs you get, so you get two of these ones with the three strands that all come into one, so it looks like he's holding multiple webs. You get two single strands that fit into some of the hands, and then you get thwippy hands that have attached webs. And here is two of the hands you get. These ones have like a hole in the middle so you can fit the webs in. There's two open hands to hold webs, and I have them here displaying both set of webs, the set with three, and then the single web. Other sets of hands include wall crawling hands, slightly relaxed hands, fully relaxed hands, Newspaper holding hands, coffee mug hand, and hands you probably won't understand until your middle school days. You then have fat gut and skinny gut. You then get five heads with this, normal Spider-Man head, wide-eyed Spider-Man head, blonde Peter Parker head, and two side-eye Peter B. Parker heads. You then get a pair of glasses that fit in either the newspaper hands or actually fit on the heads. And with 14 hand options, 2 torsos, 5 heads, and even a pair of glasses you can add. There's so many variations and combinations you can make with this figure. So I'm going to show you a couple, but I'm not doing them all. But here he is with the one relaxed hand, the coffee hand, the fatter gut, and then the one side eye Peter B head. This is most likely how I will display mine but here are a couple other combinations. Here is Peter B. Parker with the glasses on and one flippy hand. Next, I was gonna show you the skinny gut, but it's actually a little tricky. Removing the torso, like the actual stomach part, is a little tricky, but then the like crotch part actually has this hard plastic part, and it is really in there. I think you're supposed to take it out if you wanna switch like the guts, but I think in doing so, I might snap it it's really thin plastic and I don't want to do that so that's not gonna happen after looking at the two torsos I realized there was a part that holds the torso to the upper chest that is contained in both torsos but it had broken off of one of my torsos so I literally cannot swap torsos so that might be a problem for you down the road but I kind of show it off here the one has like just a real skinny hole, but there is like kind of a divot system, I guess, that holds it in place. And you can kind of see that here on both, but uh, yeah, it broke off the one, so I can't swap. So here he is with the same torso, but with the web holding hands, I got him with the three strands and then with the masthead. The stand that comes with them is kind of uh, terrible, and to be honest, it kept falling apart the whole entire video. So here he is on a DC flight stand with the Peter Parker blonde head and one of the web holding hands so it looks like he's swinging from a strand and then with a thwip hand. And here he is with the surprised head and the slightly relaxed hands. While preparing the figure for the next pose his eye popped out of his head so that's cool. And here he is with the rated R hand and the coffee mug doing unsavory things to MJ. I'm gonna go over articulation here in a second, but I wanna say excuse my asthma in longer takes, it's very noticeable. So please don't be a dick in the comments. All right, so in terms of articulation, he has a bend in the toe on both feet. And the ankles do go 360, they go up and down, and they twist sideways. And then he has a double jointed knee, so he can bend all the way. 
and then the leg is just on I don't, a ball joint I think is what you call that but it can twist kind of a little bit little range of motion there but it goes that far out that far up so he, he can't really kick much that far back but if you kind of move the leg around more you can get more out of it and same with the other leg he then has a little kind of I guess we'll call it uh, it's a waist crunch yeah so and that can twist 360 ish but he kind of falls apart when you try um, then he has the ab crunch which not much crunch and in terms of backwards it's a little stiff but he'll do that and then the arm the arm is also pretty stiff but you can get it out you can get it in all around also double jointed and then the wrist goes up and down this is kind of hard to show and do so I apologize but it also spins 360 and when swapping out these hands you want to be careful because it is a really tiny joint it can snap very easily um, and this spider-man he pops apart very very easily like I'm pretty sure I could pop out his arm the legs pop off insanely easy the head is also kind of a little tricky and it's kind of pretty fragile I'm afraid that might break down the line um, let's see neck the neck can spin kind of it spins in place but it doesn't really do a 360 not even really a 180 or anything like a very limited range of motion um, and then like his neck alone moves but then you have this ball joint here so his head can move all the way around 360 Let's pop the head back on real quick alright so you can get him looking pretty far up pretty far down to the side to the other side and that's about it for articulation so ultimately I'll probably be displaying him like this just the way I like mine um, and my issues with this so he comes with those newspaper hands and you're probably wondering why I didn't show you the newspaper it didn't come with mine it was supposed to but I checked the packaging I checked everything I didn't get mine um, the other thing that broken torso kind of sucks I actually did order a second one of these a couple hours after I bought my first one. So it should be here in a couple days. And hopefully that one has the newspaper and the torso. But we'll see. I really wanted a Peter B. And then I wanted to do the blonde version, Peter Parker. Um, so maybe I'll make a video on that if you guys are interested. Just showing them side by side. Hopefully that one's not broken. Like I said, we'll see. Um, my other biggest issue is we got some pretty shit faces if you ask me so the Peter Parker the blonde one not bad the two masked spider-man heads not bad but I really wanted the Peter B Parker heads on mine and it's really weird we got like two of the side eyes with like stupid expressions with his mouth open I wish we could have gotten a more serious version like this so it definitely has its problems, but overall, for 20 bucks, it's really not bad. You get a lot of accessories and hand and face and even gut options. And right now, Marvel Legends are like 22, 26 bucks. Your more deluxe ones are around like 30. Um, so you have a lot more options with this. It's a lot cheaper, way more articulation, way more options. So honestly, this puts Marvel Legends to shame. 
Like a bootleg for 20 bucks is way better than Marvel Legends, and they've been doing those for years and perfecting their craft, but now they're just so freaking expensive. So, I honestly, I recommend this figure. It's pretty great. 20 bucks, not a bad deal. Um, if you love Spider-Verse like me, it's great. Um, like I said, it's got some drawbacks, but for the most part, it's pretty great. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And come on, seriously, I didn't ask at the beginning before we even got into the video and you liked it. But now you've watched the video, you know if you like it, like and subscribe. Please, helps a lot. I also got the bootleg Sentinel Miles Morales, so stay tuned for that. I'll do a review on that when it arrives if you like. Thanks for watching. Bye.